to thank Sabot Heat for sponsoring today's video. I'm excited to try out this new product. I have not even opened it yet, so I figured I would do that along with you. This is a portable way to take food along and heat it up. You can reheat it without microwaving and getting those hot and cold spots. It comes with a bag, so you can store it easily. So I'm very excited to try it out. I don't really know all the details yet until I open it up and try it out. So let's see. So this is the box that it came in and it's a very nice box that they sent it. I am going to go ahead and open it. It's a mini oven. So I'm excited. Let's see what it's about. So this is the size of it and I'm going to go ahead and open up this bag and check the rest out. So it's in the shape of a lunchbox. It's like the size of a lunchbox. I'm already thinking that this would be perfect for my husband to take to work and reheat food without using the office's microwave so he doesn't get hot spots and doesn't get the cold spots in his food and it tastes better because you're just recooking it. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this up so it's nice and a nice little bag to store your food in and it even has a compartment right here, which is really nice that you can stick something in there. And I'm guessing there's, there must be a strap or something because I'm seeing these right here on the ends, these handles. And then it has the handle at the top as well. So let's just go ahead and open it and see what's inside. It has a pamphlet in here. This is the mini oven and it shows that you can put food in this container and you put it into the bag. We're gonna open this up and they have different colors. So you can choose from a variety of different colors. I'm sure, oh, they have different bags. They have these bags as well. So these are probably larger ones, which is nice. So if, so if you like purple, they've got purple, they've got red, gray, masculine colors, feminine colors, whatever your preference is. And it also has a bunch of caution and rules and stuff, which I'm gonna read in just a second before I continue on this video. So let's go ahead and see what else is in here. So here's the strap I was telling you that it probably came with, and it did, so I can hook this on so it's easier to carry in case you're carrying a bunch of stuff. And like my husband, he's probably gonna end up using this. I'm telling you, I can already see it. He's gonna use this for the office. So it'll be nice for him. So it has this kind of plug. It's a 120V standard version. And this is the kind that you would use in like your office, your hotel, etc., travel. And they also make a car version as well, one that you plug into the car. But I wanted to get this one. So this is the one I chose. I'm gonna go and take this plastic off. So this is the actual heater, the oven. This is what cooks the food. So you have to put a glass top that you can cook with on top of it and that's how you heat up your food. I'm going to try this out. Okay, so you can take this and you can cook it inside of this, which is really cool, but let me see, I think there's like something it goes through. Yeah, there is. Let's see if I can figure this out for y'all. So you're gonna take this cord and you're gonna put it through here and then it's going to come out the opening, which is neat. And you're gonna plug it in. Now I'm actually cooking our dinner in this tonight, which is pretty awesome because I don't know how it's gonna turn out, so we'll see. I think it's gonna turn out okay, I hope. <laughs> but um, anyway, so this right here is the temperature gauge. So it's plugged in and this is the heating controller and this is going to show us the heating level. This is going to show the auto off time display, heating level icon, and an auto off timer setting icon. And it's also gonna show the heating level on this side, which I'm about to turn on and show you and I'll repeat myself and show you again. 
This right here is the on and off button. So we're gonna press and hold and then see where it comes up. So this is the auto off time display. This is the minutes of how long it's gonna cook and you can make it go down or up. And we also have the auto off timer so you can set a timer for it if you'd like. We also have the heating level icon and this is the heating, heating level display. You're gonna long press the M for 1.5 seconds to start or end heating. So you can start and end it with this with a long press. And then after beginning for a short press, you're just gonna hit it once between heating level setting and auto off setting. When this flashes, you can press the plus button or this button to adjust the heating. And the levels of heating is one to six, which this icon right here flashes you can press the plus or the minus to set a timer from 0.5 hours to three hours. The heating level, when it's heating and it shows the heating level mode, it will flash in three seconds. Once this stops flashing, you will not be able to adjust the heating level. Just short press again the M for further setting in case you need to adjust it. You can also short press the plus button and this minus button to set the heating you need. The mini oven provides six heating levels for you to choose. So there'll be six levels and the instruction book also shows you what you can cook and it is very easy. It's not overwhelming at all. There's also an auto off timer. When you're trying to set the timer, this icon right here is going to flash in three seconds. Once it stops flashing, you won't be able to adjust the time. Just short press the M again if in case you need to reset that. And then you can adjust with these two. Let's go ahead and get started on cooking. Also, when you are cooking in this, I like how this aluminum, it's already, I can already feel the heat off of it. But don't ever touch this because it's very, very hot. You will burn yourself. So I just wanted to say, I was sitting here thinking, this is really cool for several reasons. It's awesome to bring to work because my husband works in an office and he's always bringing in cold containers to heat up in the microwave or just doesn't have time and has to just eat it cold. So it's really good because it's like a lunch box that you take with you and all he has to do is plug it in and just have his food heating up while he's still working and then you know he can just open it up and start eating while he's at work and have a quick little lunch break. I love this and I'm gonna have to teach my husband how to use this, which it's very easy because it has all the instructions that you need. It tells you what kind of food to heat up, how to heat it up, if, you, if it's frozen food, if it's pasta, if it's one meal, soups, all that kind of stuff. It tells you the heating temperatures. It's very, very detailed. This is gonna be perfect. I think my husband is going to really enjoy taking this to work. So I think I'm going to let him have this for work. Also, I think when we go on our beach trips, because we do like to go on our beach trips, this will be great to bring with us to the hotel room. My family can eat some meals, heat up some meals, because sometimes we go out to a restaurant and we'll bring home leftovers and we, you know, you get that little fridge, but what if you don't have that kitchen and you want a hot meal and you don't want to go out and spend the extra money? All you have to do is heat up your food in here. Or if you just want to pick up some frozen meals, put it in the refrigerator at the hotel and just, Heat it up in here, that's really nice as well. Also, like I said, they do have a car one that you can plug into the car instead of this kind of cord. Yeah, you'll have nice hot food and you don't have to sit there and eat sandwiches every day or go out and spend the extra money. And so it's perfect, it's just, I love this. I love this idea and I think this was very smart. When I first got it, I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about it. I haven't eaten the food yet, but I do think that this is a fantastic idea. My husband could be working and just sitting at his desk and plug it in and say, okay, I'm gonna eat in 30 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and have this thing going. And then in 30 minutes, I'm going to eat my meal and it'll be nice and hot. And there's no hot spots and no cold spots like you get in the microwave. So now I'm going to heat up my leftovers that were in the fridge. Um, it should take about a half an hour and I'm supposed to heat it up on six, level six, so we're gonna do that. Pop 
Pasta can be reheated well to taste in half an hour to an hour. You can heat it up on level six at a half an hour, or you can heat it up at a level one for three hours. And it's not gonna burn, it's not gonna burn the bottom, um, there's gonna be plenty of sauce, and you want more heat. The pasta is supposed to taste good or better when you reheat it with the lower heating setting. So we're gonna go ahead and do the higher only because I am trying to hurry up and get our dinner going. So I am cooking dinner in this tonight, and I'm gonna go ahead and do half an hour. But just keep in mind, the lower the level is, the better your food will come out. Zip this up. Okay, and then I'm going to check on it later when it's time. So the pasta is still reheating, and I am going to go ahead and prep my raw food, and I'm going to cook a whole meal using raw foods, and I can't wait to try this out and see how it turns out. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap the onions and the bell pepper in aluminum foil along with the steak. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and slice up a little bit of this pepper and it's going to go in with the onions and it's going to give a nice meal using steak, onions, and then a side of broccoli. And I'm going to cook all of it in aluminum foil. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to go ahead and season this with the pepper. I am going to spray a little bit of olive oil spray. I am on Weight Watchers, so I don't use like butter and stuff very often. So I'll use this instead. So this is also a great meal for someone that's on Weight Watchers. I do Weight Watcher videos in case you're on Weight Watchers or you're interested in it. So this is going to go in there. And I'm also gonna take some broccoli. I'm going to spray this with olive oil as well. Drizzle. A Put a little pepper on it and put it in aluminum foil along with this on the side. So these are already washed, but I still like to rinse them off before putting them in because you kind of need the, the water to steam. Put my pepper on, spray this with olive oil, wrap it up. Now I'm gonna go check on the other meal that's going to go on the side of this. Probably should have heated up that uh, after, but whatever, we're just gonna go ahead and just wing it. So this is done. I am going to go ahead and open it up. Oh yeah, I can tell this is nice and warm. See, look at that. So this was the reheated food. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking our raw food in here. Our steak and onions, bell pepper, and broccoli. So I'm gonna put this in here, and this right here, and zip it up. And now I'm gonna look in the manual to see how long I'm supposed to heat this up for and what level I'm supposed to use. So for raw food, we are going to do a level five or six Level five is for 30 minutes, and level six is for one hour. I am going to do, let's see, hold, you gotta hold and press, pops up. So we want to do, so we're gonna go ahead and do a level six. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that sit for a while and see how that turns out. Okay, I am going to go ahead and open this up. I can smell the peppers and onions, and I can see some steam coming out. I think, I actually stopped this before it was done because it feels really hot and I feel like everything's already cooked. So I stopped it early. I am going to open this up. Do you see that steam coming out? Yeah. So it's very careful not to burn yourself. So I'm gonna open it from this end. Oh, look at that steam. I'm very excited to open this up and see how this turned out. We're gonna find out <laughs> together. So I do see some juices in there that leaked out. All I have to do is clean that out, but this is very easy to clean. You don't immerse this into the water. You have to unplug it. You don't immerse it in water. And it does have instructions on how to clean the lunch box and the oven itself. 
So here is our steak and onions. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh yeah, it's definitely done. It looks incredible. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see this. Yeah, that looks great. I think this is going to be delicious. And now I'm gonna open up my broccoli and it's very hot. This is a very healthy meal. If you're on Weight Watchers, this is like perfect. You could take this to work and just have it cooking at your desk. Can you imagine sitting at your desk, having this plug in, and you have a nice hot meal right there at your, at your desk. I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate this in. So once again, I wanna thank Sabat Heat for sponsoring today's video. And I'm also going to leave a discount code below for you in case you'd like to order one yourself. Like I said, this is great for travel, if you're going to a hotel, or if you need food at the office and you don't wanna use the microwaves and you don't want hot spots, or if you just simply want to cook a meal and just leave it in there without dragging out your crock pot. I'm having a steak dinner that's healthy, cooked from there and I think that's pretty cool. I wanna thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and find me on Instagram for more inspiration and motivation at Face Life One. Bye.